And they joined the Navy. And I looked. So I signed up. Came home, I told my mother I'd join the Navy. She cried. Oh, well, where are you going? He's just a baby. He's just going to bed. My father said, good move. <laughs> Supposed to report down to the bus station. I did. I had no girlfriend. I wasn't unhappy. Everything's all right. I'm ready to go away. This is a new life, new experience. Bus ride going to Maryland, Bainbridge. Saw so boys kissing the girlfriends. Girls crying. Oh, they got a little so ready. Guys got on the bus. They cried on down the bus. Got to the place, reported in a little bag, toothbrush and thing. And I saw a man came over and he said, This is Company 217. I'm going to be in charge of you. Then he started to talk about our mothers. And he started talking about my mother. It wasn't personal. It was just a broad mother thing. <laughs> that mother, my mother had babied me and I was not a man. And that he was going to make a man out of me in six weeks. <laughs> Something my mother hadn't done in 19 years and if he didn't make a man of me I was going to the brig which is jail I had no idea that I was going to be penalized like that and he went up and he talked in your face like this and you couldn't do anything because you go to jail and you don't know what happened in the brig they might shoot you and the man said turn it out if you're going to march we marched to the barracks. Try to keep your head up. And we keep your head up. Marched in, and there was this wide open space. There's nothing but wood floors, and there's little teeny bunks, and a little thing. The mattress was thin, and they had a blanket, and, uh, just a blanket, and sheets, and, and that was it. This is where you're going to live. And I found the following people, part of the Cyber, Herbert, Cosby, Herbert, Heavy. And this was my place, and little, had lockers about this big. I put all of everything I owned into this thing <laughs> like this. You gotta learn how to fold your clothes, you fold it. If you don't fold your clothes right, nothing will go in there and we will have inspection every day. And that's, and he cursed the man. Cut him, pull it, cut it, start it, that's not in the thing. And I'll cut you, you kick you on the floor, I'll cut it, hold it, have it, have it, have it. I stood, I said, God damn, man, what kind of place is this? Man, I'm gonna fight for my country, I'm gonna beat this man up first. <laughs> And I was 2,200. 2,200, that's it. 2,200, you know, looking. I'll be back here at 0,400. And I want every living fabric I have on the deck. That's the floor. And I come through and I tell the heavens, I want every foot in every credit card of fabric. Didn't even say good night. <laughs> Gone. So everybody, after he left me, everybody started lighting up cigarettes and everything. Boy, that guy is something. Yeah, I'm going to write my alderman about that guy. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of him right away. I don't think. I started to fall asleep around 1 o'clock. Zero one hundred. Woke up. This man woke us up. Zero four hundred. Just as I was going into the second phase of that, I mean, where you really go and you don't hear anything. And this man came through, turned the lights on. And it's the first time I ever heard light. And I didn't know where I was, and I didn't know, and the first thing out of my mouth, I said, Mom! 
And this dude's, I'm not your mother! And he had a stick and he put it in the trash can, in this metal can, and he started banging. And he stood there yelling, grab your socks and grab your socks and grab your socks and get out of here. And I pulled the covers over me and I wanted to yell back at him, you are rude. I pulled the covers over me, man, shoot, yeah, I come in waking people up, and I heard him walking, his footsteps, and he came to the bunk that was the first bunk, and mine was the second, and the kid in there, he was still sleeping, and man, he took his foot, he had a boot on, and kicked the bunk, and the kid jumped up and fell on the floor, Blah! he said, I'm gonna tell you, and the kid told me, oh, no, 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 and started to wet on himself. <laughs> he took the stick and he jammed it up on the cigarette. Pow! Hit it. He didn't hit the kid. The kid just crammed, fell on top of the other one. He said, but I'm tired it. Oh, baby, baby, baby. And he came around and I was dressed. <laughs> dressed I was. I'm standing there, had my pants on backwards and... Uh, Jersey inside out and shoe left shoe on the right foot, right shoe on the both shoes on the same foot. And the man looked at me and said, "You know, I like you." I said, "You try." I said, "Thank you, sir." He said, "Don't talk to me unless you brush your teeth." And he went down that row and he started grabbing people and pulling covers and yanking and grabbing and throwing. I tell you to get up, you old fat. And I stood there, man, and I was scared to death. And, 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 I, and I wanted to say things. I wanted to say, no, why do we have to? But I knew the man would put me in jail. He put all of us in jail. You talk back to him, this guy, and he kept a cigarette in his mouth. Cigarette was just hanging down like this, and the ash was about this long. Ash never fell off the cigarette. And the smoke went up this nostril, and then he breathed it out through the other one. And the, and the hat was cocked over this one eye, and he just looked at me, told you who your mother was and who your mother didn't do, your mother didn't do anything for you, and got so mad you wanted to punch him, but you knew that then they would shoot you if you punched this man. And I'm calling my alderman, I don't care what's happening, I'm gonna call and get my committeeman to get this man fired from this job. He doesn't know my father has pulled. He said, fall out! And everybody went outside, and we stood outside, and it's pitch black pitch black outside and, and I'm hurting I want to cry because I don't want to go to sleep and I got these clothes on I don't know where I am and this man is marching up and down and it's 4.30 in the morning and the enemy is not up at 4.30 in the morning <laughs> who wants to fight at 4.30 in the morning nobody you can't see anybody how are you going to shoot somebody you can't see them this is stupid and the man said, right face! And I was in the Boy Scouts, so I knew how to march. And I made a right face, and the kid was looking at me. <laughs> so I said to the kid, you're facing the wrong way. And the man came, he didn't even give the kid a chance. Went over and kicked him, and he said, I got two! Now you remember that praying, that's your right side! Now turn around the right face! And the kid told him, stop crying, I'm not your mother! <laughs> Fight! March! And we started march. Now, I was in the Boy Scouts, I was in the Harley Briggs marching band, and I know when you march, you left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So I know that. But this man had some stuff. We were marching, hello, talk to the prick, more hypo. Little hot hip holly hop till I tell a pearl hope little ball and I didn't know what the hell to do. I was I didn't know what a lump the hop would let lump head tip and so we're gonna hip all lump the hip hit lump hip. and the one guy is stepping on my shoe and you know I and he and now my heel is out of the shoe and I'm trying to what Hell up, pump to praise her. You know, and I turn around, man, don't do that. Hey, keep your tiny, let your hands call you by the car, you're tiny, tiny, fat. Hot little, hot little, pump to praise. The man came out, what kind of, don't try to be soulful around here, just march. I, I said, but, no, no, but, everybody, turn on. Who 
do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you think I'm your mother? When I talk to you, you keep your face closed. Hard, hey! And the man didn't say much, he just said hey, and everybody just stood there. <laughs> he went crazy. I know what I tell you! Tomorrow I know that everybody said to me, boys started crying. And Now he's going, what have they given me? What have they given me? What is this that's going to fight against the enemy? People standing crying? When the enemy comes to kill you, is that what you're going to do? Well, everybody went crazy to kill. I just came in here because I got a girl pregnant. I didn't want to fight with you guys. Understand what any of this is about. I can't talk back to anybody. I can't ask any questions. Just doing all this. I can't march. And, uh, and it dawned on me then. I, 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 I wanted to, to then ask if I could see the company commander. I wanted to see the company commander. Yes, I, I've only been there less than a day. If I can talk to the company commander, and I want to tell the company commander, sir. I want to thank the Navy for, for what it has done uh, for me. I, I, I now know what I want to do in this life. Um, no, no, sir, I want to go to college. I really want to go to college. Now, I know I haven't graduated from high school, but I, from the way I feel, I can go to college and high school at the same time. And if I fall below a B, and please, you could take me right back in this Navy, but I am going to study, I tell you. And as a matter of fact, I know two fellas who should be in the Navy right now. So if I bring you two of them, then you let me out. I'm going to college and high school at the same time because I want to thank the Navy for what it has done for me. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about motivation.